All right, guys, we are ready to go for another OU Live, uh, Gen 7 OU Live for Sun and Moon. Today we're using Mega Mawile, which I'm very excited to use because this was one of the this was the first Mega that I ever used on the OU ladder in Gen 6, uh, and I'm so glad that it's being tested out right now. It's a really cool mod. Uh, it's just an insane, staggering attack. It gets huge power if you don't know. Uh, I'll just show you guys right here. Uh, it has huge power. Uh, before Mega Evolution, it should have Intimidate. Uh, and play rough sucker punch firefight look at this attack stat boosted with huge power like that's That's almost as much as mega metacham when it's adamant. That's insane. That's so good. Actually. I think it's more I think metacham is 100 and this thing is 105. That's crazy, dude That's that's mental and pair uh, pair it with the fact that it gets swords dance and that it can actually hit mega sableye uh, I gave it 159 speed because that's enough to outspeed um Celestila and be able to hit it with a fire fang. So that's very nice. Uh, we have Primarina over here Which is something that uh, not, a lot, not a lot of people have seen in action yet uh, Hyper voice is actually pretty strong with liquid voice turns it into a water type attack 385 special attack really really strong Give it a little bit of bulk as well uh, More so a wall breaker than anything else, but it also has toxic protect then we have Cartana choice scarf sweeper with leaf blade smart strike Sacred sword and night slash night slash is to be able to hit scarf Jirachi because we do outspeed that and then we have uh, Raichu over here uh, Calm Mind, Electrium Z with Thunderbolt, so we have Gigavolt Havoc online. Uh, Surge Surfer, which is really nice for opposing Tapu Koko. We're able to, uh, I think, beat that thing 1v1 with Calm Mind. Uh, as well, we're, we're slower, but it doesn't really matter. And we have Rotom and Garchomp. So we have two Electric types, two Steel types. We'll see how that works out for us. Uh, but I like the way the team looks. So let's uh, let's give it a shot. Let's see how it works on the ladder. And this is the actual OU ladder, guys. The last episode that you guys saw either earlier today or yesterday uh, was a... Uh, was it anything goes on the official showdown server? Uh, if you want to play Gen 7 OU and how they've tiered it, then go to future f u t u r e dot p s i m p s i m dot u s. I'll leave a link in the description down below just in case I think. But uh, either way, like this is this is where you play the real meta game. So as you can see, there's a Silvali. It actually tells you what kind of Silvali it is. It's Silvali ground, so that's good to know. Uh, gonna have to start getting used to seeing these colors and in OU or UU, depending on where this thing ends up, but I think it's going to end up in UU, probably a couple of utility sets. Let's lead off here with, um, I like Raichu as a lead, because he, he, well, he does have a ground type, but I probably should have put on Grass Knot on this thing. Uh, I also very much like Primarina here as a lead, so I'm going to lead off with that. He leads off with uh, Kartana, so not the best lead, because this thing does get Leaf Blade. Uh, we'll switch out into Rotom right here, I think, is a pretty good uh, counter to this. And then we'll go for the uh, Volt Switch or the Will-O-Wisp. Burn is, of course, nerfed, if you didn't know. Uh, it only does 6%, but it still cuts the attack. So, there's Smart Strike, does very, very little. We're going to get our Leftovers Recovery. It doesn't really have anything to hit us. As you can see, ours doesn't have anything really to hit Rotom Heat. So, this is a pretty good uh, answer to uh, Celesteela, to most of the Ultra Beasts, actually. It takes them on pretty well. Uh, resists uh, the Bug Stab from... Feramosa, so a couple of things you can do with this. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a uh, for a Volt Switch right here. I don't expect him to switch out into um, into Titar because I could Will O Wisp. So I think Volt Switch is the better play on the potential Latias. And then what we can do on Latias is bring in Mega Mawile and start Swords Dancing up, <laughs> which is pretty ridiculous. Latias is gonna come in here, beautiful. We're gonna go off this Volt Switch, and I can even go into Cartana and just uh, Night Slash right here. Should be able to knock him out. Uh, problem is that. I don't knock out Tapu Koko afterwards, so that could be an issue. Tapu Koko is definitely a very good switch into uh, to Kartana. So uh, I think Mawile is probably the play. And honestly, I think just... Uh, I keep thinking that Kartana has Iron Barbs because it's the same typing as Ferrothorn. But uh, I think we can just throw out a, um, a play rough right here, I'm pretty sure. Like, nothing wants to take this except for Kartana, so... Uh, and we have a dedicated switch into that, so we should be fine. He does go into Titar. This should drop immediately if we land. Uh, as we do not, unfortunately, but I don't think Titar can knock us out because of our uh, slight bulk investment. So we're just going to go for another play rough. We actually outspeed him, which is nice, and we're able to take out the Titar. So that's one kill from all while. We're not going to be counting them or anything, but that's just uh, you guys are going to see how much work this actually puts in. Brings in Silvaldi ground. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. I do have a, a Garchomp. I do have a Kartana. Um, I like the Kartana switch here, actually because it does put pressure on Silvali immediately, as he goes for Substitute, which is nice. And I think we're just going to go for the Leaf Blade right here. Be able to break his sub. If he wants to switch into his own Kartana, that's fine. If he wants to go into Top Coco, that's also fine. Goes for the Multi-Attack. It's ground, of course. Does a good amount of damage. I expect him to switch here, uh, but I am just going to go for another Leaf Blade. 
just to get off some damage and is, he does go into Latias actually that does a lot wow uh <laughs> that's impressive yo this thing is attack is staggering it's so good um i like primarina as a switch because it does cover the uh the potential hp fire as well so i think I'm, that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go into primarina and then it's a uh, pretty he does go for psy shock unfortunately though um so that wasn't the best play uh let's go for the protect right here just to get back a little bit of hp because this is still partially useful especially if latios drops uh, latias drops its special attack through a uh, draco meteor i'm gonna go on to mawile now as latias is gonna go for another side shock it's gonna do, uh, do 23 percent not too much not too bad uh we can just go for a sucker right here and knock this thing out um he actually chooses to switch out into top of coco okay not bad pretty good play uh, but play rough is going to do a lot of damage to this. However, I think Thunderbolt would actually knock us out from here. So, uh, yeah, let's go into Garchomp. We do have the rough skin for the U-turn, so it's not too bad. He does go for Guardian of Alola, which is the, uh, the Z-move, um, that they have. Uh, he just used it up, though, so that's nice. Um, does it use all the PP? Or is it just Guardian of Alola that's, like, its own Z-move? I don't even know what typing it is, honestly. Uh, I haven't done enough research into it, but uh, I'm just going to attempt to go for the Stealth Rocks. He is going to go for the Dazzling Gleam, of course. It's going to easily be able to knock us out. Uh, now what we can do is, uh, I think, go into... Kartana's not bad because it does have the Steel coverage. So I could knock this thing out with a, uh, a Smart Strike, potentially. Alternatively, Rotom's not bad um, because it does get off a Will-O-Wisp on something. But I do want to keep Rotom for his own Kartana, so I am just going to go into mine, and we're going to go for a Smart Strike. If he wants to switch out into his own, that's absolutely fine. It's going to do 70%, not too bad. It is neutral, of course. Forgot about that. So we do lose that, but uh, it's not a big deal. We can still claw back from this. Um, I like... Hmm. Dazzling Gleam is going to do a lot. Uh, I think Rotom is definitely my play. And I think just Overheat, honestly. Just click over here, get rid of this thing, because this is probably the biggest threat to me. Uh, nothing else really worries me too much, because I do have Mawile, so... Um, the Silvali could be a little bit of an issue. He goes for Nature's Madness to cut my HP in half, but we are going to knock, knock out the Tapu Koko right there. I do have to keep Rotom for the Kartana, so I have to be very careful. Um, if he goes into Latias right here, I think I have to go into Mawile. Actually, I could probably sack Primarina, realistically. He does go Kartana, actually. Why? What's the point of going into this? What is it? What, what can this even hit me with? Let's see. Um, do you get a rock move? Do you get a rock move? You do not get a rock move. So what are you doing in here? Um, yeah, no, I don't understand this thing being in here right now. It's kind of scary. But I'm just going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. He's, he's going to go for the Sacred Sword. And he's actually going to get a crit right there. That's kind of unfortunate. He's going to get the uh, Beast Boost as well. So this thing is a little bit of a threat, of course. Uh, I think maybe Mawile can take one. Maybe because it's not Stab. Primarina can definitely take one. Because uh, it is resisted. So I might go that. Uh, let's find out. Let's see if Primarina can take one. Primarina. Primarina with max HP at level 100 versus Kartana. This is the new calc, guys, if you didn't know. Kartana, max attack, adamant, let's say. Uh, adamant at level 100 with sacred sword. Sacred sword at plus one does 42 max, and we are at 53. So yeah, we can definitely go into this. Uh, and what I can actually do is just protect on the first turn. It resists all my moves, of course, but, like, I don't really have another choice. It's gonna go for the Sacred Sword. We need to get off damage on this thing, and it has really bad Spit F, too. So, Hyper Voice might actually do a little bit of damage, as uh, Sacred Sword does not do enough to knock us out, of course. And that did a lot. Wow. <laughs> okay, that definitely put it in Sucker Punch range, which is great. Um, we're gonna go for uh, Double Protect right here. We're gonna go for the first one. Go back up to 34. And then if we get off another Protect right here, then we can live the next Sacred Sword potentially and get off another Hyper Voice. So that's very nice. We might not, we might not even need to bring out Mawile on this thing. He does get the knockout though, so that is going to take care of us. We're going to go into Mawile now and uh, we're just going to click Sucker. It's absolutely fine uh, as we're able to knock that out. So Volley is a little bit of a threat, being a ground type of course, uh, as it does come in right here. Really wish I had Hidden Power Ground right now. 
Uh, I mean, Grass Knot on Raichu, uh, because I think this thing can take me out with a multi-attack. I'm pretty sure. Um, let's try it. Let's go into Raichu. Let's see what happens. As uh, multi-attack is going to straight Oko us. So, we need a crit on Sucker Punch, I think. I think that's the only way we can win. Uh, yeah, that would have done it. Uh, crit definitely would have done it. But, uh, nope. That's, uh, that's going to be GG, unfortunately. I uh, forgot the Tapu Koko's Fairy. It's, it's really hard getting used to all of these typings. Like, there's a lot of... A lot of really cool typings. Um, this man has fairy spam as well. We have two fairies. He has uh, two fairies. I uh, probably should sub Raichu out for something because it doesn't look like it's going to be doing much in any game. <laughs> um, yeah, probably like a dark type. I think a dark type would fit on this team very well. Potentially a Bisharp. Don't want another steel type though, so. Going to look for something. Maybe between battles, figure it out. Let's, um, we don't have Iron Head, which is fine. I think I'm just going to lead off with Primarina, because it has a decent matchup, as Deancey does choose to lead. We'll go for the Hyper Voice. This will straight knock out Deancey, easily, even in regular, even before the Mega Evolution, because we're 385 special attack. This thing is a monster with Hyper Voice. Did you see how much it did to a resisted hit on Kartana? I mean, its special defense is pretty bad, but still. Look how much it's going to do to Mew. That did nothing. He's Spidef. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, what can we do? What can we do? Uh, I don't want to get this thing toxic, like, by toxicking him. I'm just going to go into Garchomp. If he sets up rocks, it's fine. Uh, he does go for the Will-O-Wisp. Uh, we're only going to take 6% a turn, which is nice. We're going to go for Stealth Rocks right here. He's probably Defog, but uh, I think this is my best play before the Deancey comes in, as Landorus actually chooses to come in, which is fine. I think the rocks are going up on his side probably right now. Um, Yeah, I like Primarina here. Primarine is solid. He goes for Stealth Rocks. Yep. And now we'll just go for another Hyper Voice. And should he choose to want to burn Primarina, that means his Mew will be Toxic, and I will not be Toxic, which is nice. So we'll just go for another Toxic right here, as he does choose to Soft Boil instead. But we uh, we missed the Toxic, which is actually which actually ends up working out in our favor. I'm gonna go for another one. Hopefully he Will O Wisps, thinking that it's all he can do. Uh, he's actually gonna switch out into Cartana right here, which is a good play. This thing, of course, does get Leaf Blade, so we have to watch out. Uh, we're going to switch out into our Rotom, which is our dedicated check to this. As he's going to go for the Leaf Blade. Yeah, that's not going to do too much. He does seem to be banded, though. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Pain Split right here. I don't know if he's going to bank on the crit or, or what, but uh, Pain Split is definitely my play. It catches everything. Everything's at full, pretty much. Uh, the Rocks are definitely going to help um, both of us. They're definitely going to help both of us, like on both sides. Let's see what we can do. Goes into Deancey on the pain split. Very nice. We're able to get back a little bit of health. Um, I do not want to stay in on this. Uh, what's my switch in, though? <laughs> I guess my switch in is Kartana on a Diamond Storm. Yeah, we'll go into Kartana. It's fine. As he goes for the... For the Diamond Storm, which does not too much. Not too little, but not too much either. I think we can Sacred Sword here safely. Uh, trying to catch the Magnazone, I think is the play. Let's do that, as he goes out into Landorus first, which is a great play on my opponent's part. He'll probably just U-turn here, uh, which means I'm going in, out into Garchomp. Uh, I like how low the Deancey is as well. It comes in on rocks a couple of times and gets destroyed by a Sucker Punch. Yes, that's right, a Sucker Punch. Uh, Lando's going to take a little bit of extra damage as well, which is nice from hitting Garchomp. Uh, how do I win this game? He goes into Deancey, which is fine, and I think we're going to... I think we're going to lose. <laughs> I could go back into Kartana, but Kartana doesn't have good spadef. Uh, Raichu's not bad. Raichu doesn't do anything anyway, so I might as well go into it. Uh, and sack it to the Moonblast. It's not going to kill, luckily. And uh, we're going to go for the... Do I go for the Gigavolt Havoc? Right here. Or do we just go for the Thunderbolt? I think we just go for the Thunderbolt. As he actually wins the speed tie, okay, that's fine. Uh, now we'll go into our Kartana. And I think just fire off another Sacred Sword, trying to catch the... Uh, actually, no, Smart Strike is a better play here, because he's not going to go out into uh, into Magnazone now, I don't think. No, he does. Okay, wow. Great play. Nothing I can do about that. He is going to knock us out with an HP Fire, more than likely. Uh, good news is that um, Primarina can come in and get a kill after, so that's a thing. Uh, Mew is still not toxic, so that's a little bit annoying. He knows we have Toxic now, though, so he might be tempted to switch out into Kartana, which probably will go down to a... Uh, actually, he doesn't... Okay, he just 
crits volt switch. I don't think that mattered at all, but uh, <laughs> I can't believe he switched that in on a potential sacred sword. Like if he lost this, he actually just lost a Kartana. That's insane. Wow. Anyway, um, I will fix the team up. We'll actually do it right now. We'll get rid of Raichu. We'll change it for a dark type. Which dark type should we go with? Dark. Let's see. We have the possibility of Goose Lord, Silvali, Dark. Hoopa's not bad. I like Hoopa, actually. It's just a little slow. I need something fast. Greninja seems pretty cool, but we, don't, we already have a water type, so let's, uh, let's try something else. Fast Dark type. Mmm, Zoroark. Lipart as well. It's not bad. Um, just need something to switch into psychic moves, basically. Um, something that's not super frail. My opponent did make his play, so. Goes into the Ancy, yeah, that's the right play. Uh, we'll go out into Primarina, which does not have any physical defense whatsoever. Just fire off a, fire off a Hyper Voice right here. If Mew wants to come in, that's fine. I'll probably just Hyper Voice again. No, I'll Toxic on the following turn. I'll Toxic. But, um, actually, Magnezone's gonna go straight down, isn't it? Nope, not yet, not yet. Alright, we do have a ground type, so I don't expect him to... I'm actually gonna protect, because I expect this thing to be choiced in some way. Uh, we're gonna see what he goes for, as he does go for the Thunderbolt, which is gonna give us a free switch out into Garchomp, gonna leave Primarina alive, and, um, he's actually gonna pull a double out into Deancey, very nice. Uh, and I have to let Garchomp go down right here. Not that Garchomp was doing anything anyway, so I'm just gonna go for an EQ. Uh, he is gonna go for the Moonblast, very nice. I think this thing is in range of Sucker Punch now. Hold on. Mawile. Common Showdown. I want Mega Mawile. How do you get Megas in here? Mawile. Alright, let's just do Mawile with a base attack of 105. Huge power. Uh, ability, huge power. Uh, 252 Adamant. Uh, at level 100 versus Deancey uh, with very little uh, defense. I think this hits 100. Uh, Sucker Punch does how much at level 100? 29 to 35. So I could go for it here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for it because Showdown is probably telling me 30, but he's probably at... Uh, at less. We're, we'll go for Sucker right here. I don't expect him to stay in, necessarily, but I think this is my play. Magnezone is low enough to die to a Sucker Punch as well. Um, this should go down. Yep, there we go. I don't think the crit mattered. I really think he was in range. Because this is insane attack, dude. Six, 678. Like, if it wasn't resisted, I would still have 339 attack. And a Sucker Punch. So, like, that's... Yeah. Anyway. Um, I'm <laughs> just gonna go out into, um, <clears throat> into Rotom right here, and what we'll do is we'll go for the Volt Switch, expecting the Magnezone to want to come in, uh, on my Rotom, on the Pain Split, to give back his Magnezone health. As it does come in, beautiful, we're able to get the Volt Switch off on that. And now there's not a lot threatening Primarina or Mawile, for that matter. Uh, I kind of want to force him into something that doesn't lose me my Rotom. So I'm going to go out into Mawile here. I want to force him into his Mew uh, or into Lando. And Lando does come out. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, we can go into Primarina here, I think. Or I can go into Rotom first and then double. Uh, this thing is leftovers. I can't keep giving him leftovers, though. I think I have to go Prim. Yeah, I'm going to go Primarina. Let's see what he does. He does just go for the Earthquake. That's going to do 60%. So that's quite a bit of damage. Uh, Rotom should be able to outspeed... Wait, why am I max speed? What's going on? That's not what I made this. I made it max HP. Max defense. That's why I didn't take that hit as well. Showdown doing its thing again. There we go. You guys remember our battle against Johnny. All right, let's 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 up this. I would have taken hits from Cartana a lot better if it wasn't for this. But uh, anyway, we're going to go for the... Um, just going to go for the Hyper Voice. He's just going to Earthquake again. Why wouldn't he? Uh, and we're going to go for the Will-O-Wisp right here. and hope he misses a Stone Edge, if he even has it, for that matter. I don't know if he does. We could also just Pain Split here and bank on him not having it. That's an option. 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna go for Pain Split. As we're actually faster, which is good. He does go for the Stone Edge, though, so that is gonna knock us out. And I very much doubt Mawile's uh, Sucker Punch can take this out, so... Especially a defensive variant. We'll just go for it. If we crit it, maybe. We'll see. If he makes the mistake of switching out here, though, that could be very bad for him. Um, yeah, because if we got up enough sword stances, we could just clean sweep the entire team. I wouldn't switch out here if I was him. Definitely not. But he does. He switches out into Tapu Lele. Gets up the Psychic Terrain, which prevents uh, any kind of priority, which is very smart. We'll go for the Swords Dance here. He's probably just going to double back in Orlando, and then priority is nullified, so... He's going to go for the Psychic. That's going to do a lot of damage. We're going to get off the Swords Dance. It's not going to help us at all. We're going to go for the Play Rough. He's obviously faster than us, always, and uh, going to knock us out with two Psychics. Incredible. All right, so let's fix this right here. We'll go with Greninja, because it puts on a lot more pressure, uh, and we'll go with a Life Orb set with Protean. Uh... Scald. No, we'll go Hydro Pump. Uh, actually, let's go Ice Beam. Uh, Grass Knot, because we need that. We definitely need a Grass Coverage move. Um, as you guys saw earlier, would have been very nice to have. Uh, what else could we use? Ice Beam, Grass Knot. I'm going to go Spikes, actually, because this allows me to turn into a Ground Type. And we'll go Max Speed, of course, right here max special attack and I think the last move is going to be dark pulse because we need some dark stab and we'll up this what are we at 21 minutes okay let's get one more with this updated team let's see if we can pull out a win this time <coughs> excuse me this time my opponent has a uh, Greninja as well what kind of Silvali is this it is steel okay and uh, I think I'm gonna lead off here with I have no switch initiative other than Rotom I don't even know what Goose Lord is, honestly. Like, it's typing or anything. I have no idea. I'm gonna lead off with Primarina. It has the best lead matchup. Greninja leads, so he could go for Grass Knot. I doubt it's gonna do too, too much. Uh, we could just go for Moonblast as well. Actually, I'm gonna go for Protect first to see what he does. As he does go for the Gunk Shot and turns himself into a Poison type. Okay, good good thing we protected. Um, let's go into Cartano because it pretty much hard walls this. As he's gonna pull a switch out into Silvali Steel. Very nice. Uh, we could just go for the Sacred Sword. He doesn't have a great switch, other than uh, Blades, Necrozma. I'm going to go for the Sacred Sword. We're able to get off 68% uh, on Silvali. He's going to go for the U-turn. It's going to do a little bit of damage, of course. And uh, Silvali is very low now, which is great. It doesn't have a high speed tier either. He might be Scarfed. Scarf Steel. Uh, no, he can't be Scarfed. He needs the uh, the item. Uh, Salazzle is going to come in. Okay. Um, this is fine. I have a Garchomp, which doesn't really care about this at all. Uh, I think his Greninja is his biggest threat, actually, looking at it. As we are going to go into Garchomp on the Flamethrower, that looks like Specs damage. Uh, from what I can tell, 32, 32, 32, we're not 3-hit KO'd. Hopefully, hopefully that wasn't a roll. We're going to go for Stealth Rocks right here, as my opponent pulls out a switch into Necrozma. That is absolutely fine. What we're going to do is just go for the Sword Stance. We are Life Orb. Uh, I think we'll be able to 2-hit KO this. Uh, he goes for the Psychic. That's going to do a lot, but not enough. And we'll go for the... Does he have anything that's not grounded? Not that I can see. Let's go for the Earthquake. <clears throat> as we are able to Oko. Necrozma. Awesome. And uh, nothing really wants to deal with Garchomp right now. I can tell you that much. Greninja does come in. It's probably carrying Ice Beam. I could probably see that. Uh, I think we have no reason not to go for an Earthquake, though. He is just going to go for Skull. Turn himself into a pure water type. We don't see an item. That's very interesting. Uh, at this point, with his Silvali so low, I don't think he has a switch into Leaf Blade. So I'm just going to... Well, he can switch into his Salazzle. That's the only thing. Um, yeah, and I don't have a great switch left to that thing. Oh, well, let's, uh, let's go Cartana. Let's see, uh, let's see what his play is. Let's go for Leaf Blade. I mean, it knocks out two, two to three Pokemon on his team, so... Leaf Blade is going to knock out Greninja right there. I'm assuming Salazzle is going to come in and quad resist this, so it's not going to take anything. But it is going to take quite a bit from Rocks. So every time he does that, he's he's losing health, and quite a bit of it. Um, I think Dark Pulse can also sweep this game up. I'm, again, I'm not sure what typing... Let's actually find out right now what typing Goose Lord is. Goose Lord. <laughs> I hate that name. Uh, where is he? G, 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 G. 
Guzlord, Dark Dragon. Okay, so Ice Beam can definitely deal with that. He is going to go Salazzle. Uh, we're going to go into Rotom, expecting the Flamethrower as he does go for it. We're able to eat that up thanks to our bulk this time. And we can just go for a safe Volt Switch right here. If he wants the Flamethrower again, he is, of course, faster. Uh, seeing as he specs, we can just Volt Switch on out of there into our Greninja. And just fire off a Dark Pulse, I think, is fine. Uh, we can even go for Spikes if we want to, to make sure that... Um, well, actually, no. Dark Pulse is fine. Uh, Dark Pulse is easily going to be able to take out Salazzle from here. We are going to take the Life Orb hit. We do turn into a Dark type. We have Grass Knot for this. Dark Pulse should be able to take out Salvali from where it is. Uh, Aqua... Oh, this thing is part Bug. Okay, so it's not weak to Grass. Hmm. Alright. Do I get up a Spike here? I'm thinking about it. I could also just go into Primarina, which pretty much walls this. Uh, or Mawile. Or Kartana, actually. Not bad. Primarina's fine, though. I'm going to go into Prim. And uh, he's going to go for Liquidation. That's going to do a lot. Is he also Specs? I did a ton. Uh, I'm going to go for Toxic, because this thing is very, very slow. And unless he's max speed, I don't think he's outspeeding us. There we go. And he does go for Poison Jab, actually. And he's not able to knock us out, but he does get the Poison. So a little unfortunate there. Liquidation is a very, very strong move, apparently. We're going to go into Rotom. Rotom does outspeed this always. And we can just go for a Volt Switch right here. It is super effective. If he wants to go into Guzlord, we'll go into... Um, into Greninja, but he does stay in, and I'm expecting a water move right here, so I'm going to go into Kartana, and he's going to go for the Liquidation, it's not going to do too much, we are going to be able to live it, and I think, at this point, Sacred Sword might be my play, because it does knock this out, it gives me the plus one, and it's not resisted by the other two, yeah, so let's go for Sacred Sword, uh, and we said he was a Dark Dragon, right? That was it, right? Yeah, Dark Dragon. Okay, so he's weak to this. And he does not have the best defense, I don't believe. Uh, he has 53 defense. He has a huge HP stat, but no defense. As he's going to forfeit. Okay, cool. So we got that one. Let's get one more. I like these to be long because I, I want to explore the tier as much as possible. As we do get a Feramosa team, so this is going to be extremely threatening. We do have to watch out for priority on Lycanroc. It does get Acceleroc. So that could be a problem for quite a few members, actually. Greninja, Primarina... Gotta watch out for that, so... I like his team. I really like his team. He's just a little bit, uh, Rotom weak, actually. From the looks of it. Let's lead off with Rotom. Lycanroc is the only counter lead that would, uh, mess us up. But he's gonna lead off with Klefki here. I think I'm actually just gonna go for the Overheat. Turn 1. Uh, as Klefki decides to stay in and dies immediately, which is amazing. So only one spike is going up. Greninja does come in. Uh, we can pretty easily go out into Primarina here, or Kartana. I like Primarina first, because I'm expecting the water move, uh, as he is going to go for the Surf, and that's going to do upwards of 23%. He is Life Orb, of course, and I'm expecting a Gunk Shot now, so what I'm going to do is protect on the first turn to see what he does. Uh, and who is this guy? Who are you, Lord Amort? What the heck? <laughs> okay. Uh, he goes for the Grass Knot, and uh, that pretty much tells me that Kartana is an easy switch to this. That's pretty much what he's revealed at this point. I could go back into Rotom and then go into Kartana, but I think Kartana Hard is, is fine. He goes into tor into Tornadus, though, which is a great play. Uh, Smart Strike is definitely not knocking this out. Not from full. Uh, and I don't really want to stay in on a potential Heat Wave. So what we'll do is we'll go into Garchomp, we'll get up our rocks, and that's really going to hinder him. Uh, he's going to go for the knockoff, get rid of our Life Orb. Uh, and now we'll be able to... He is Life Orb himself. If he lands a Hurricane, he has a chance to knock us out, I think. We'll go for the uh, Stealth Rocks. He does miss, unfortunately. Uh, and we are able to get up a Rocks, which is going to be huge. We're going to go into Rotom right here. And uh, he goes for another Hurricane. That's going to do not too much, luckily. And if he does stay in here, Volt Switch has a chance to take him out with, um, with the combination of Life Orb Recoil. So we will just go for the, uh, for the Volt Switch on this turn. As he decides to stay in. And his Tornadus is now gone. So that's great. We do still have Garchomp to give a little bit of chip damage to Pinsir a little bit later. Greninja outspeeds it, but I think it dies to a quick attack. Mawile is nice. Um, I think my play here is probably... Uh, I like being in with... What? Uh, I like being in with Primarina because we're also going to get the Leftovers recovery on this turn. So that's nice. And uh, I believe... Yeah, Pinsir's fine. Pinsir does come in. Uh, I think Rotom still checks this if he doesn't boost. 
So, how much are we at? 45? Maybe. Maybe. Where am I? How do you be games open? I have to go pick up uh, Pokemon Sun later. But, let's see. Pinsir. I want to see Mega Pinsir. Uh, I forget how much attack it has. I think it's like base 150. Uh, level 100. Yeah, that's that's what it seems to be. Uh, against uh, Rotom Heat. Rotom Heat, Rotom Heat, Rotom Heat. Where are you? Uh, level 100. I need max defense. Bold. Uh, bold, 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 bold. Uh, return does not enough. Close combat does not enough. Okay, cool. So I think we just go for the hyper voice right here. As he goes for the swords dance in regular, which is a good play. However, uh, Pinsir dies. So <laughs> that's gone. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm expecting Greninja to come in here as he actually goes Lycan Rock for some reason. Uh, I'm going to go for the Hyper Voice again. He's going to go for the Stone Edge. It's going to fail to knock us out. He's Life Orb as well. And we're able to get off the Hyper Voice right there. Feramosa is going to come in. And this thing is a threat. Um, I think I'm just going to go for Protect to see what he goes for. Uh, as he goes for the Rapid Spin, actually. So we're going to go directly into Garchomp. Hoping that he is not... Um, okay, he goes for the Poison Jab. That's fine. He's going to take the Rough Skin as a result. We are going to get Poisoned. Uh, and he's Life Orb too. Okay. Uh, this tells me that he's not Scarf, though, which is great because now Kartana just wins. So I'm just going to click uh, Dragon Claw right here as he goes for the Rapid Spin. He's able to knock us out, but he's going to take Life Orb plus uh, Rocky Helmet in the process. He's actually going to get a Speed Boost, which is not good. Um, Mawile is fine, though, because I'm pretty sure Sucker Punch will knock this out from this range. I'm, I'm pretty positive. Plus, he's a physical attacker, so getting off the Intimidate is always good. We are able to knock out the Feramosa from there, and I don't think Greninja knocks out Mawile. This is this is such a beautiful scene to see, guys. I don't I can't tell you how many times I used to see this in the past. Greninja versus Mega Mawile. Like, oh, I'm so happy with this new generation. We're going for Play Rough. He's going to go for Surf. That's not going to knock us out. That's going to leave us at 20%, and he's going to take the Life Orb plus the Play Rough, and that is easily going to be GG. So we are able to pull it back a little bit. Thanks to having Greninja on the team uh, instead of Raichu. I think this team is pretty cool, actually. Uh, I'm definitely going to be trying it out a little bit more later. But uh, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, make sure to check out uh, future.psim.us in the description as well. And I will catch you guys later.